Hello, my name is G2 Pro, and welcome back to Whatever I Feel Like Sunday. Today, we are destroying the Titan, which I tried to destroy with a gravity gun, but the projectiles were not working, so I got upset and decided to just blow the damn thing up. Let's get started. We're going to place down a shit ton of warheads. I believe it was something like 2,000, 20 or 30, maybe 50 of them. Over 2,000 warheads. It's going to be plenty to blow up this Titan the Titan ship, which is the one I've been using in my Space Engineers survival series, or semi-survival series, but either way, this is not the same save game, so we don't you don't have to worry about missing it, or the survival game going it to an end. This is just the thing I was testing a gravity gun with, and the gravity gun works fine, it's just the projectile I was supposed to fire doesn't actually get affected by gravity, which sucks. So here we are, placing down the first line of mines, or first line of warheads, although for some reason I like to call them mines, probably because other games that I've played call them mines, and that's what I'm used to. Or just because they look, possibly also just because they look like, like the mines that they lay in the ocean for ships in like World War II and stuff. Those kind of mines, the naval mines, whatever they're called. And here I am just, um, Putting in some more mines. Yay! I think I'm gonna speed this up so you don't have to wait through the whole thing. Okay, I've sped it up four times so that it won't be as long of me just placing down mines. Or, damn it, it's not called mines, they're called warheads, damn it. I just call them mines because that's what I know, or that's what they look like. Okay, now there's all that crap in the way. I'm going to be placing more mines down. That crap is because I destroyed the oxygen generator, which was full of ice and oxygen tanks. Now we are placing down a ton of, a lot more mines, now we're going over to the other nacelle and destroying stuff, taking stuff out of the way so it can, or so we can put down a lot of mines. Now we put down some more mines over here, and we put them down the wrong way so I have to go back in, and then put down some mines another way, and then we put it out, pulled it out the wrong way so I just decided to fill the top with mines, or just throw some more on the top. Then we go all the way over here and place down the last set of 1,998 mines. That's a hell of a lot of mines. And I'm not going to have very much frame rate at all. It's going to be a literal slideshow. I bet PowerPoint will ru could run slides faster than this game will be running. <laughs> and here we go. We have a few straggling mines that fell off for some reason or just weren't connected. And now I was going to, I'm going to go into the cockpit, and I realize there's no chair in there. And you can't really put chair on mine, or if I'd put the chair on the mines, I would have been killed, so you wouldn't have been able to see the explosion. So I decided to go back out and create a little hot thing for me to put the chair on. Now, okay, now I just delete that piece of glass. I throw down some armor blocks and get it, make it so that it, the chair will be far out of the explosion, so I will survive around 40 blocks above the, explo the main explosion, except for that one little strand. Now we put down a chair, oh, we're not there yet, put it down at the top, jump in the chair, um, there we go, jump in the chair, and now we have to open up the menu and set up all the warheads to go off. I'm going to speed this up as well. Here I am opening up the menu and selecting all 2,070 or 80 something warheads and putting them in a, gr in a group named Boom, setting the detonation timer for 10 seconds, and putting the arm warhead, switch arming of the warhead, and start countdown on action group 1 and 2. Now I'm getting to a good angle to view the explosion, turning off the HUD and the UI, which the HUD is the H button, which shows all the markers and stuff. Then the UI is uh, the tab button, if you're on a or if you haven't modified it. And I've armed the warheads and started the countdown. This will take just a bit before all hell will break loose and my GPU at the time of explosion was not understanding how anything worked and just froze everything so I had to speed that up as well. Here we go, explosion at four times speed, still getting a low frame rate even though it's at four times speed. And uh, yeah, it's still going on. Bam, bam, blam, yeah. There's some more explosions. Everything's still there. And then, 
it knocked me out of the chair or I jumped out of the chair when I hit a button by accident when I was frozen and it everything's gone okay here's the last few mines detonating so they don't have the they don't show the particle effect or whatever they just detonate and disappear there they go and we're left with debris thank you for watching and goodbye Thank you.